They just aren't that into you. Oh no, was there ever a more dreaded phrase? Truth is, being seen as attractive is much more complex and involves subtle cues, behaviors, and factors that don't involve how long your lashes are or how square your jawbone is. Attraction is a rather complicated dance. So let's look at some things that can serve as hints that someone is attracted to you, as well as subtle secrets to be more attractive to others. Number one, show it rather than say it with body language. This is a relief for those of us who can't think of the right words, unless we're a little more comfortable. One can convey quite a bit of info from how you sit, stand, or even place your hands. Generally, when you give the aura of being approachable and friendly, you're more attractive. How do you do this without saying just the right witty repartee? Answer, you act open, approachable, and friendly. Instead of crossing your arms or legs, like you're blocking yourself off, take a breath, face the person you're talking to, relax your posture, and rest your arms openly. Use this to observe those interacting with you as well. When someone is attracted to you, they tend to be engaged in what you're saying and will show that both verbally and non-verbally. Number two, close the distance. Attraction means physical closeness. In general, when something or someone is pulling you in mentally, it does so physically as well. On the other side of the equation, if someone is attracted to you, you may find that they are usually closer in proximity than others normally would be or may seek opportunities to get closer, like sitting next to you, even though there are plenty of other seats available. You may also notice that they will lean in towards you when speaking or will swivel themselves in your direction. This is a subtle sign that they want to give you their full attention. Number three, eye contact is everything. Gazing deeply into another person's eyes is a huge sign of attraction. Doing this triggers oxytocin production, which is the love hormone. If someone is attracted to you, you may find they hold eye contact with you just that much longer than others. While engaged in this held gaze, you may notice some pupil dilation action happening. This dilation is a response from pleasure hormones being released like oxytocin and dopamine, which is similar to the euphoria from drug use. Hmm, could this be why love is considered a drug? This of course is a sign taken from the general neurotypical population with little to no outlying mental health difficulties. People with social anxiety or on the autism spectrum may not experience or exhibit the same response. Number four, this one's for the boys. The beard is not weird. Call in all dudes. Beards have typically been associated with a person's attractiveness, specifically those who have stubble or other close cropped beard styles. Just a hint of hair, please. On the contrary, people that have the Rapunzel of beards or facial obscuring shrubberies have been shown to be more commonly viewed as comparatively less ubiquitously attractive. So what's with the short beard? The neat and short facial warmer can signal healthy attention and maintenance of lifestyle while also defining a jawline. It can help with face symmetry, while the full beard can be seen as more aggressive or more mature in a fatherly way. For those of you who simply physiologically cannot grow a beard, another great way to make your face appear symmetrical is to wear a nice pair of sunglasses. Number five, They'll change to your frequency, their voice that is. When talking to someone that's attracted to you, you may find that their voice changes slightly. It may deepen to increase the impression of masculinity and power, or perhaps a higher pitch is adopted to show sweetness and appear less threatening. Sound is a big part of how we perceive people. Thus, the voice is given emphasis to help a person stand out and get noticed by the object of their desire. And number six, fidgeting. Is it boredom or is it attraction? Sometimes being around a certain someone can be nerve wracking. Come on, even the coolest and most confident people get a little nervous around that special someone. It's because how this person views them really matters. They wanna give a good impression. If you're constantly analyzing the words you say, you may find that you're more self-conscious and will partake in nervous behaviors. You may notice either in yourself or someone you're interacting with, increased fidgeting, sounding awkward, and an overall appearance of nervousness especially if the encounter is newish and you don't know each other that well yet. However, it's important to be aware that this can also show disinterest. Look to see if the behaviors are geared towards trying to impress you or if they're revving to get away from you. If they're trying to avoid you, you may notice that they're looking away more and they're finding distractions to move away from you and otherwise break off interaction. Attraction is a multifaceted, mysterious phenomenon. The science of attraction is far from fully and rigidly mapped out with new discoveries and correlations frequently occurring. Studying it helps us learn more about ourselves as humans and how we connect. What are your thoughts on these points? Let us know in the comments below. We hope we connected with you at least a little bit. 
If we did, please like, share, and comment below. And we'll see you in the next video.